Hey guys, it's Primoz from Skyrocket Your Productivity and today I want to answer a question that I got from one of my readers which is as follows. Over the past three years I have spent literally thousands of dollars on courses. Earn one k is your launch, dream job RBT, just from remit and then five to six other courses from others. The problem is that I buy the course, get excited to work on the assignments and then something happens where I skip a day and I go off track. What keeps me out of the night is my lack of focus will prevent me from achieving the goals that I have set in my life. I'm only 22, but I don't want to spend the rest of my years in this way. So first of all, thank you so much for that question. And I love that you're writing and you're sending me this question when you are just 22 because you're still super young and there's still so much that you can accomplish. Um, as you might know, I personally started getting into the business world, you know, with my first course only when I was 20. And it took me years and years to actually go through multiple courses to actually build a business and so on and so on. So I love that you're asking me this question now and I love that you're doing this because this means that, you know, when you're thinking about things like that early on in your career, that means that you can overcome these barriers and then accomplish a lot more later on down the line. So in terms of your question, there's two general ways that I like to address it. The more logical way is, um, you know, whenever you get started with something and, you know, you work on it for a while and then something happens in between and then you never finish it. Um, something like that, first of all, happens a lot. It happens to a lot of us. Um, you know, I can definitely let you know that there's some things that I have never finished that I have started and there's probably a bunch of them. Um, now, the overall mindset that I like to have to this though, is that I think about, you know, the other people that see what I'm doing. And what other people care about is the things that I finish, the things that I put out into the world. You know, nobody cares about the things that I was secretly planning, you know, in the background, in my basement or in my office, that then nobody ever sees. So what I try to do is I try to focus on doing things that, you know, make a difference, things that I can put outside into the world. You know, if I'm working on a freelance business, that means, you know, actually getting started and trying to get some even free work with some clients. If it means like a zero to launch type of an online business, then that means, you know, just publishing some content out there um, and, you know, sharing it with the right people. That automatically helps you build up the momentum by putting yourself out there. You are going to get some momentum. You are maybe going to get some traffic, some email subscribers, things like that. Um, but it also, you know, leaves a mark on the world because once you create something, it's out there. If you just keep creating something and it never, you know, sees the light of the day, then nobody really cares about it. People only care about the things that you finish, about the things that you put out there. So that's the general mentality that I like to make. Um, or that I like to take in these situations. So what I like to do is, you know, just focus on finishing things. Um, you know, I don't have to start 10 different projects at a time, but I know, you know, that even if I have one project going on, I know that, you know, there's gonna come a day when I feel like, ah, you know, something's gonna come in, in between, either I'm gonna go on vacation or I get sick, or, you know, I'll just get a lot of work to do at my job, so then it's, it's gonna take away, you know, time from my side business. There's always something like that that happens and I like to anticipate that that's gonna happen and then you know just not feel guilty about it because one of the worst things that you can do is you can say like oh my god I haven't worked on on this idea for three days and now I feel super guilty and that's not really helping you you know get back into the state where you want to do some work. Instead, you know, you, you're like, it's better to just say, well, you know, this is okay. I knew that this was going to happen earlier or later. What's one small thing that I can do to get back on track? What's one small step that I can take, you know, that's kind of related to what I want to do. That's actually fun for me. That's actually exciting for me that I can do, um, you know, to help me kind of build up the momentum. And like a story that I like to use is, for example, going to the gym in the past, um, you know, when I just was just starting with going to the gym, I definitely had these periods of time when, you know, I went to the gym a lot and then something happened and I didn't, couldn't come back. Um, one thing that worked really well for me is because I really love, you know, training my chest and doing bench press. I just, you know, whenever I, something like that happened, the first workout that I would do when I would come back to the gym would be a bench workout. Just because it's fun, just because it's easy for me, just because I knew that, you know, once I do that, I'll also want to do other things. But you know, I wouldn't want to do something like, you know, um, go and do squats because I hated squats at that time. And you know, you, I was just dreading the idea of going to the gym and doing squats and it just didn't make me go to the gym. 
But with the bench, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm excited to go and just do some bench press and then we'll see what happens. And you can take the same approach with your business or whatever you're working on. You can think about, you know, what's one small thing that I can do that I'm actually excited to do. Even if it's not the most important thing that you want to do right at this moment, even if it's a thing just kind of just related, like, you know, posting a Facebook comment or a post in a community or something like that, that you really love doing that comes easy to you, I would just do something like that. And, you know, then it's going to be easier, you know, once you're done with that to build up that momentum and do the other things that are going to be more valuable for your business. So that's the first thing I would say. And then the other thing I would say is, you know, don't try to do this on your own. From what you're saying, it sounds a lot like, you know, you're trying to do a lot of these things on your own. And then when you fall off track, you have no one to kind of like bring you back on track or to hold you accountable or to support you, to encourage you, to believe in you. It feels like you don't have that many people in your life that would really deeply care about what you do and, you know, help you actually follow through with it and help you finish it. So that's the other thing I would recommend you looking into. How can you connect with other people, you know, whether it's people from RBT, whether it's people from somewhere else, whether it's people, you know, in person who are interested in the same things that, you know, you're interested in and they go to meetups or something like that. I would really look into surrounding yourself with other people who care about the same things as you do. Um, one thing I recommend you to check out is my quick guide to surrounding yourself with successful people. I'll add a link, you know, below this video and I'll also send it to you. Um, check that out because that's going to make things a lot easier. Because once you're not working on everything on your own, once you have a couple of people that you talk to on a regular basis and you have those calls scheduled with them, you know, on Tuesday you're going to talk to a friend. So even if, you know, on Friday you completely fall off track and you do no work for your business, you know, on Sunday, then on Tuesday when you're talking to your friend, you'll kind of get a clean slate and, you know, like you're going to tell them, you know, what happened. They're going to give you maybe some advice or they'll just understand you or they'll just listen to you. But then, you know, you can actually go and think like, okay, you know, so this happened. What can I do next? What's that one small exciting step that I can take to make progress in the future? Um, so those are really the two things that I would recommend you to do. One, really just focus on finishing things and getting them out into the world. And then whenever you do get stuck, just focus on one really small, exciting step. And then the second thing is just to surround yourself with people like you, because that's going to make everything way easier than trying to do it on your own. So thanks so much for listening to this video. Definitely check out the quick guide to surrounding yourself with successful people. The link in the bottom of this video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.